Hey guys, so sorry this is being recorded on my smaller camera, uh, so it might not be quite as good quality as my videos normally are, but that one is dead and I need to record a video, so you gotta do what you gotta do. But today I wanted to talk to you guys about my five favorite Christmas books, or Christmas, or books that have Christmas in them. Now first things first, most of the books behind me are not mine. Uh, this is my flatmate's bookshelf, the bottom two shelves are mine. And this is done by my flatmate, Rosianna, and it is a fault, a quote from the Fault in Our Stars. So just clearing up the background issue. Also, I only have three of the Christmas books I want to talk to, talk to you guys about in this video. So we're just gonna go on with it. First one, I you've already seen me talk about, and it is Let It Snow by John Greenmore and Johnson, Lauren Miracle. I reread it every Christmas time. I love it. It's such a good, fun read around the seasons, around the seasons, around the holiday season. The next one is a bit of an obvious one as well. Um, it is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Now, I don't know what it is about this book. I know they mention Christmas in it, but for some reason, when I think of Christmas, I think of Harry Potter, as does ABC Family. Um, anyway, yeah. This is something I like to read around Christmas. If I have time, I give it a reread. I love Harry Potter so much, as you guys know. So I had to mention this, I had to include it in here. Um, this is not my copy, actually. This is Sana's, but Harry Potter. I love reading Harry Potter. I think it's just because I love Christmas and I love Harry Potter, and so I like to experience them together. The next book is Letters from Father Christmas by J.R.R. Tolkien, and this is a collection of letters written by Father Christmas to J.R.R. Tolkien's children. Um, every year, every December, they would receive a letter from Father Christmas, and it'd be from, you know, the North Pole, and this is a collection of all of them. There are images, there are pictures, there are dra um, drawings that he's done, things like that. I love this book. It's so Christmassy, and it's also J.R. Tolkien's writing is brilliant. Um, it tells loads of fun stories. It's just a really, really good read and really beautiful. I highly recommend it. I think it's a great gift as well. I just hit myself in the face. Now the last two I don't actually have copies of. I'm sure we have a copy of the first one and it's somewhere in the flat. I just couldn't find it. And that is um, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. I love reading them around Christmas time. I think it's, it's really... The thing about C.S. Lewis's writing is that I'm really torn on it. I like it a lot. I like the books a lot. I like the story. I think he's a good storyteller. I don't think he's a particularly good writer in those books. That's just my opinion, but I, I like that it's left up to the imagination, and that, that is what I think makes him a really good storyteller. So I think that's really fun to read around Christmas time as well because, you know, it's about Christmas. There's a lot of Christmas in it. And the final book is a book that I read every year. I was actually read it by my mom growing up every year. She read it to me and my brother, and that is The Polar Express. And you guys have probably seen the film, but if you haven't ever read the book, it's so good. It's it's a picture book, um, but it's quite a long one, if I remember correctly. It's gorgeous. It's such pretty draw um, images, drawings, and it's such a good story. It's such a beautiful story of Christmas, um, and I think it's definitely worth a read. And especially if you have any children, any cousins, any siblings, any children of your own, that's a book you should get them for Christmas. Let me know what your favorite Christmas books are in the comments. Sorry I don't have more. I find that a lot of the Christmas books I read are a bit too cheesy for me, like things like The Christmas Shoes and um, I don't know, things along that vein. But if you have good Christmas books, let me know what they are in the comments. Sorry, I'm, I didn't even mention, I didn't even mention I'm wearing a Christmas onesie. It's just become so much a part of me that I didn't even notice anymore. Hope you're having a fantastic holiday season. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.